Hey everybody, this is Andrew Douglas from Dojo University, and uh, we wanted to take this opportunity, uh, you've probably been in and around Dojo University a little bit at this point, and I want to tell you a little story about ninjas. Um, obviously, we called the Piper's Dojo a dojo because of our association with the Secret Society of Ninjas, which uh, Carl and I are both um, ninjas, coincidentally enough, and we know how ninjas like to get around and um, they've discovered some really cool, awesome tricks about Dojo University that uh, we want to share with you. Um, you know, obviously you can't be a ninja, but you can know the tricks that they use. So and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my little conference here with Carl. And uh, he's just kind of going to, he's kind of a dummy here today, um, though still um, possessing ninja qualities. He's just going to kind of be there. And I want to show you a couple cool tips and tricks about the um, software here that you can use uh, to help you in Dojo University. The first quick thing which we discovered, um, Carl discovered it sooner than me, um, is that over here on your users you're gonna see that uh, um, Carl is bold, his name is bold and it's in blue and you'll notice that my name is in blue but it's not in bold. The blue means that your audio is enabled so that you're gonna be able to be heard. You'll notice if I turn my microphone off, my name becomes black. And then again, it becomes blue. And so uh, Carl is able to hear me again. And then if I were to switch to my video, my name would become bold. It's a cool way to see, um, you know, whose audio is turned on. <clears throat> Just a quick trick there. The next thing, uh, a lot of people have asked me about this, and um, I ran it by the ninjas, and they said it was okay to reveal uh, the following bit of information which is that um, you can expand this video to be any size that you want. So if, uh, if it's mostly a demonstration type moment at Dojo University, I can make Carl quite large, like this. And uh, if I don't want Carl to be that big, because maybe there's other things going on, or maybe he's having a bad hair day, I can squeeze him up to be that small if I wanted to. Um, we'll go back to a normal size thing. Carl's trying not to laugh over there. I'm on fire today. So uh, that's the second ninja trick, is the expansion of stuff. And you could do that with other things too, like uh, if there's a whiteboard up. Like Carl, bring up the whiteboard real quick. Yeah, here's the whiteboard. And you can see uh, my music doesn't quite fit on the screen here, so I'll drag it up to the top left, and I will open it up. Now I can see the whole whiteboard. All right? And uh, Carl, you can go ahead and close that now, please. So, uh, you know, that's um, another cool ninja trick. Here's another one, is uh, this thing right here, over on the right-hand side, I can do a couple of things with it. If I click this top right icon, it undocks it. I can move it around like so. I can put it in different places if I want to. And then you can also click the minimize button, and that actually gets rid of it so it's all um, just, you know, wide open space. And that can be cool, especially, you know, if you don't want to be looking at the chats and um, stuff like that, and you just want to be focusing on the content. And to bring it back up, I'd click it again. I can move it around, and then if I click this chain link icon, it, it brings it back over there, and uh, we're all set. You can also minimize any one of these categories. For example, if you're not using the microphone and you want more space, you can minimize it like that. Um, you can also minimize the users because a, a lot of times you'll have a chat going on and you want to be able to see um, a whole bunch of different types of chatty type things. Or maybe you don't care about the chat and you do want to see all the users and maybe you know they're giving feedback, right? Which you should know about at this point. Uh, my feedback's over here, so if Carl is going too fast, I can say, whoa, dude, slow down. And you can see all, all sorts of feedback going on here from the users. So that's another cool trick. Let's expand these guys out again. All right, one more ninja trick in the software is to send a private message. Let's say I'm, uh, I have a buddy that's in the class and I want to say something completely inappropriate to them that you don't want everyone else to see. I can say, I can click on him. You just uh, give it a single uh, left click, I guess it is. Um, and that's going to bring up this secret private chat, and it says Carl on it. And I can say, Carl, I'm so glad 
I'm a ninja and already knew this stuff. And only Carl is going to get that message. You'll see that it didn't show up in the public chat. And Carl is also glad that he is a ninja. So that is a, you know, that's the the main trickery that we're aware of. I mean, uh, Carl, can you think of anything else that uh, I missed? Just how to resize uh, your screen when you show my desktop. Oh yeah, go ahead and show your desktop there, Carl. And uh, we were we did want to cover this. So here's Carl's desktop. Now you'll notice that um, he his screen doesn't entirely fit um, on my thingamajig, on my screen. See how there's more over there that we're missing, and we don't want to have to scroll around um, during presentations. So down at the bottom here, you can see it's desktop shared as Carl. And there's different levels of zoom. Another scenario is maybe there's something he's showing that we want to see bigger, and we can we can mess around with our zoom here. And then the handiest trick that you should click whenever your instructor is showing their screen is just fit to screen, and that's going to show their whole screen in one spot. And of course, if things are too small to see, that's when you might use the greater zoom. So you would unclick the fit to screen, and you would do that. I think that's an important ninja trick to know. All right, guys. Well, those are the main ninja tricks of the Dojo U virtual classroom. So thanks, Carl, for your help today. And uh, I hope you're enjoying Dojo U so far. And if there's any problems or if you'd like to tell us anything else that we might want to know, make sure to contact us. But meanwhile, uh, enjoy the rest of your Dojo University class. We will see you in there.